Going back to uh, Joseph, Army Intelligence. Okay, tell folks about, and anybody can go see this, this isn't secret. They've put up a big fence around the old sports stadium with barbed wire facing in, and it's also around the park. And uh, you've talked to some of the other military people out there, and they think it's suspicious. And we went out and looked at it Friday and confirmed what you told us. Right. Uh, obviously, uh, you know, any sort of barbed wire or Constantino wire on a military post, it happens all the time, so you never know when it's, uh, you know, just a temporary POW camp, you know, for a mock exercise or something like that. But what this is, Alex, is they uh, have $927 million. I'm reading straight from the Fort Hood Sentinel right now. $927 million center will include a three-story clinic and a three-story building that will house several developments. There will also be a five-story tower that will house emergency department, medical surgery center, and intensive care units. Now, this, is, this, this hospital complex is being built right where Pritchett Stadium used to be. Now, what they have done is they have put up a fence around this facility, which is approximately, I'd say, around, you know, just under 10 acres. And it's backed up to a train depot where there's four sets of tracks and loading docks. Now, this uh, permanent fencing that they've put in, they've cemented in the ground, has barbed wire facing in. Uh, now, I, I haven't really talked to anybody about that, but it just, seems a little bit odd to me, and, and some of the, you know, my coworkers just said the same thing. Yeah, to be clear, you said some of the other folks at the base thought it was suspicious. I mean, we've been there. There is the train tracks. Uh, it's a lot bigger than just where the hospital is going to be. It goes into where a park was. I mean, it's a huge area with barbed wire facing in. You can see them cementing it, uh, you know, uh, putting the poles where it faces in with the three lines of barbed wire. Uh, I mean, why would you have the facility to where people can get in, they just can't get out. Well, uh, you know, Alex, I don't know. And, uh, you know, every day that I pray that there is an honest explanation, you know, that somebody made a mistake in the, in the planning or execution phase or something like that. But uh, we just have to be aware, of Alex, and we have to keep, uh, keep passing this information through channels so everybody knows what's going on. Absolutely. But, uh, I mean, if it's, if it's facing in... And it's not a mistake, because they've been building it in the last month. I mean, they would have already reversed it. Uh, we have to continue to watch this facility, but it may be they're going to have a uh, brig hospital, uh, similar to the one where they're holding, uh, holding the Fort Hood uh, shooter right now. But, I mean, take the Taylor facility, which is an admitted camp for illegal aliens and their families and citizens during emergencies. That's been admitted. When the public protested, they took down the guard towers and the Constantino wire, though the 20-foot fences are there and, and people are still held in it. So it shows that they try to camouflage this archipelago of prisons and jails as much as they can. Right. Alex, I wanted to touch on something that was real near and dear to my heart. So sure. uh, just bear with me. Uh, in the military, you, you guys out there listening, you guys and girls, you do not have to be vaccinated. There is a religious objection, and it's contained in AR 40-562, Chapter 2, Page 3. I strongly urge any of you people out there that, that have a strong religious objection to aborted fetal tissue in the vaccines and the squalene, the tween 80, all the, the, the stuff in there that's meant to kill your body and defile your temple. I strongly suggest you go and read the parameters and start inside AR 40-562. Uh, and if you veterans out there that have had any vaccinations, uh, you know, I've had some adverse reactions to the anthrax vaccine. I contacted uh, some people on the Internet at Protecting Our Guardians. Just Google Protecting Our Guardians. And they're a great Christian organization, nonprofit, and they helped me along the way. Uh, they're great people there, and there's, there's great support all over online. And by the way, they suspended up. the anthrax shot in the mid-90s, again in 2000, and again last year. They know it's experimental, but they lie to the troops and don't tell them there's a waiver. But you don't even need a waiver for an experimental vaccine. Congress and the courts have found it's illegal to give experimental vaccines to troops. Have you now seen Wired Magazine? They want to give you these, these vaccines that change your brain? Oh, yeah, I, re I read all about it. It, it, it's frightening. I mean, that's really scary. It's frightening, and I guarantee the first people to to, uh, to have those vaccines will be the men and women serving in the armed forces. Yeah, you're not guinea pigs. If they want to go get guinea pigs, uh, rodents, and do it, but but not our men and women in the military. No, I agree, Alex. It's it's uh, it's something we should we should be able to object to. And I have. I wrote that letter 
And my chain of command has been great with it all the way up and down and, and just really support my right to object religiously. And the more people that say no, the easier it is for everybody else. Well, listen, uh, Joseph, we appreciate you coming on the broadcast. Look forward to staying in touch with you. Take care. God bless you, Alex. God bless you. Have a great week. Bye, Candias. All right, coming up via video uplink, if you're a PrisonPlanet.tv viewer, audio of your radio listener, Gerald Salente for an hour and a half, and we're going to have open phones for him. Stay with us.